Hello, Cheryl here from Tootsie Art. So I always uh, love love the idea of uh, doing a, galax a galaxy pour, straight pour, um, celebrating May the 4th. So I wish May the 4th be with all of you. And I hope you enjoy this uh, straight pour that we're going to do tonight. So the 16 by 20 Artist Loft canvas, Artist Loft, um, artist grade canvas. I, I painted the sides black and a little bit of the, the top. I've also um, taped off the back and put the push, push pins in. Um, that helps with uh, just keeping it stable on the table. Although my table's not perfectly level, so there's a bit of an issue there. But anyway, that's not the end of the world. So, all of the paints today were mixed with Floetrol, Flood Floetrol, and Liquitex Gloss Medium, and some water. So to mix the paints up, I used um, about 60 grams of the Liquitex Gloss Medium. It used to be called Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish, but they've changed the name of it. And then you add in about 30 grams of paint. And you mix that all up and then you adjust it to the consistency you want by adding some water. And then once it's at the consistency you like, you add the Floetrol and that's about 60 grams of Floetrol. The paints that I used are going to use today is black. And so I've used Artist Loft Black. And because I had the consistency too runny, I had to add some paint to it. So I added a little bit of Mars Black, just a little tube paint that I had, a little one ounce. Well, they're actually 75, 0.75 ounce. Uh, Liquitex Basics um, Mars Black and that wasn't quite enough so I had to add a little bit more so just added some some uh, Liquitex Basics uh, Phalo Blue just to thicken it up and get it to the consistency I wanted so this is the black here you can't really tell you know it still looks very very black even though despite adding blue there wasn't enough in it but it, it provided me with the consistency so I just needed to add a little bit of tube paint to make it a thicker consistency so we'll be using black with a galaxy pour I would think you'd need to have those dark colors um, then we're going to use uh, we have Liquitex Basics Canacridone Magenta And I actually doubled the batch of this. I'm not quite sure why I did that, but I have lots of magenta, which I will have some left over for another pour, I would imagine, because <laughs> I won't be using it all today. Um, then I used Grumbacher's Turquoise Green mixed in with some deco art i had a little bit of the deco art um, metallics in peacock pearl um, just had a little bit left over so i added these in so that should make for some interesting cells i would hope um, i didn't make a lot of it but i do have some here in this cup seems a little bit runnier than the other it's not as the same consistency but it was about an hour or so when I mixed it all up. So anyway, we'll, we'll see how that fares. I used uh, one of my favorite, all-time favorite colors, Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple. And to it, I added just a little bit of Artist Loft's Iridescent Medium. Just to give it some sparkle and some shimmer seeing that it's a galactical um, piece of art that we'll be doing today. Then I did the same thing to Amsterdam's blue. Um, it's uh, primary cayenne 
or cyan. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it's Amsterdam's. So I added a little bit of the iridescence medium to that. And also I used up the end of a little tiny tube paint that I had for cerulean blue. And uh, that gave me this beautiful color here. So I think those will be really gorgeous colors. And then I didn't want to use straight white. So what I did was I took some Liquitex Basics Titanium White. And I added in, this is the first time I've ever used the Deco Art um, Satin Enamels in Pure White. I have been spending months trying to find it. Um, and then when I finally did find it, I bought two of them. And when they arrived here, the, co <laughs> the covers were all, um, I didn't lose too much paint, but they were quite a mess because they, the little sealed part on the top broke off of both of them. And anyway, thank goodness they were in a, um, a plastic bag. So a lot of the mess happened inside the bag. But anyway, this is the first time using this. And um, I'm using it because I understand it might give us some cloudy type cells. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out with this particular pour, but I'm so excited to give it a try. So to the titanium white, I added this as well as I wanted, I didn't want straight up white. So I added this Liquitex Basics Brilliant Yellow Green. Um, and so I'm, I was able to, so it's obviously not the full color of the yellow green, but I muted it quite a bit. Um, so it's more like a, you know, a yellowy green, sort of pastel -y, I suppose. But anyway, I'm hoping that with these colors, it, um, it has an opportunity to really shine, but we will see. So that's all I wanted to tell you. The only other thing I was going to mention is that with this size canvas, a 16 by 20, to figure out how many ounces of paint you're going to need, um, you take the 16, multiply it by 20, so the width, you know, you just take the measurements width and length, um, that's 320 and you divide that by 28. So that gives us 11 ounces of paints that we need. Now the cup I'm going to pour all of the paints into is a 14 ounce cup. So I'm going to fill it and depending on how it disperses on the canvas, I'm going to maybe add more. I, I don't know. And, um, I do have a little bit of black that I mixed up as a flow extender. So just made that a little bit, it's runnier than the rest. It doesn't have the same consistency. And that will allow for um, the paint that's in the center. If you pour this flow extender around the outer part and level it off, it'll allow the paint to slide off the side. So I'm hoping I made enough of this up, but if I, if I didn't, I can use some of the other colors. Like I have enough of that magenta that I could certainly add that up as we as we go along. So, so we'll see about that. Um, like I said, that's kind of that's setting up the whole thing. This is a leveler. You want to make sure that your canvas is level. The other thing you need to have with you while you're getting ready to paint, aside from your nice little level is you need paper towel because you will make a mess and the other thing you'll need is this is an oxo silicone egg turner or something um, but it really helps uh, instead of using a popsicle stick it really helps distribute uh, uh, the paint across the surface of this so i like using that and a torch which I have behind me here. So you'll need a kitchen torch to blow the bubbles, uh, pop the bubbles um, that will definitely creep up when you're doing your painting. So here is the moment of truth. I'm very excited. Um, I'm just moving all the paints out of my way. And 
I'm going to go for it. I've thought about this and which paints to pour in first. Um, whatever you pour in first is going to be the last thing to come out. So I feel like I really want that white, whitish green color. So I'm going to pour, I'm going to pour a little bit in. I'm not going to pour too much, just a little bit down the side. And then I think that the magenta will look really cool next to that. So here it goes, a little bit of magenta. Some purple. And let's go for some black. Don't want to put a lot of black in because I really want to enjoy all these other colors. Um, against the black, I'm going to put some of this turquoise. And a little more of this magenta. Whoops. Now this beautiful blue. What next? What do you think? A little bit of this green. And this purple always looks really good against that color. Just going to keep going until I can fill up the cup. No rhyme, no reason. I do, I am trying to do a little bit of contrasting, I suppose. Um, hmm, maybe the blue would look prettier against that. Let's see. The turquoise. Let's put a little black. We're getting pretty full there, but I'm not ready to stop yet. Oh no, oh no. All right. Pretty much going to fill it right to the top is my plan. Because it's only 14 ounces. I know it says you only, I, I said you only need 15 ounces, um, which is correct. Or sorry, 11 ounces. My apologies, 11. 11. Um, let's see. A little more of that. Then what do you think I should finish off with? Oh my goodness, can you see how pretty everything looks in the cup? Gorgeous. It's looking pretty good in the cup. All right, let's see. Hmm. Geez, they really all look so good together. I don't want to put any more of the white in, or the green, because I think... That could take over, but maybe I'll just put a little bit of the purple across the top. Right, well, I still have probably enough paint to, um, if I need more, I've certainly got enough. I'm really low on the turquoise, but and the purple, but that's quite all right. Okay, so I'm going to move the paints out of the way. Oops, without getting hooked on this mic. So, slow and steady is how I'm going to attack this pour. And here she goes.
do think I'm going to pour a little bit more into the center of that though. I do see some really cool colors um, taking place here. Like there's some really neat, like with the blending of certain colors, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to just take my cup and I'm going to put, ah oh gosh, what do I, which colors do I choose? Some blue. Purple, just wait now. I'm not being very... Okay, so there's that. We'll get a little magenta. Uh, a drop of black. And how about a little bit of this turquoise? And some more purple. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to just pour straight into that just to get rid of that. Um, Just don't want that much. All right, I also want to just do a little fix of that center. Got a little skewer here. Just so it doesn't have that funky line because once you stretch all this paint out it's going to um, it's really gonna you know th some of those shapes are really gonna form quite interest. they'll be quite interesting. <laughs> that is for sure. All right. I like that a bit better. Uh, I see there's a lot of magenta. There may be a need to, um, you know, we may be looking to move some of that magenta off. Sort of. We'll see, because we'll be tilting a lot of this paint. I mean, there's a lot of paint on here. So, you know, I did 14 ounces and then probably another seven. So, 22 ounces, you know, that's quite a bit of paint on here when you only need 11. Um, but we'll just do, we'll just hit the torch here to this and um, get rid of the air bubbles. I'm famous for forgetting to torch, so I, I told myself before I started to make sure I remind myself. But I love the colors. If, if when this all gets moved around and stretched out, could be quite beautiful. I'm already seeing some kind of cool ribboning. Now, I must admit, I noticed that I didn't do a complete straight pour on the second pour. I did do a little bit of other techniques I guess but so please forgive me um, so yeah I have this black uh, flow extender as I said before that I'm gonna just pour it all around here I will do that right now hoping that I have enough I hope wherever you are in the world, you are safe and staying well and having a positive attitude that you will, we will all get through this crazy COVID times. 
I know it's been stressful for so many in many, many ways, myself included. And painting? I started doing acrylic paint pouring before COVID happened. But I really, I really benefited from having something to take my mind off of all this stuff that's going on in the world. And, um, you know, the heartbreak that's been going on, especially right now in India, I, I just, heart is broken. Okay, so now this is where this great little spatula comes in handy. So you can just smooth all this, this paint down. Be careful. Oops, I must have hit a little bit of some other. This time of night, my eyes start going wonky. It's like 11 o'clock at night, my time. <laughs> it's actually bedtime, but this is fun. I really wanted to do this uh, May the 4th. Um, paint pour, galaxy pour, and um, I wanted to do it so I could po oops, post it on my YouTube channel, but I don't know that I'll have it edited on time for May the 4th, but maybe I might have something on my Instagram, I don't know, I haven't figured all that out yet, I'm still pretty new to that kind of stuff, so, not left-handed so I'm trying to manage now I, I do want to do want to get this all coated on the sides as well I think my mic cord is going to be pretty dirty by the end of the night <laughs> yeah, that's quite all right I could use my hands but my gloves are dirty enough and I did the one of the reasons I painted the sides black I just I didn't even use oh yeah there goes the cord into the into the paint but um, the reason and I just used straight up flow flow acrylic for um, for painting the sides earlier tonight it just makes things a lot easier all right because there's a lot of bubbles here I'm gonna go with a the torch again and pop as many bubbles as I can you don't want to get too close to the canvas to the paint you don't want to burn it you just want to you'll see how close you need to be and in many instances you learn the hard way let me try and teach you to avoid some of those there's still lots of bubbles there. I did only mix up the paints tonight, so sometimes it is a good idea to um, to wait a day or two, but I never like to wait. When I want to paint, I want to paint. Yep, I think we're good. All right, so now we're going to start tilting this paint canvas. Again, the colors are quite gorgeous. I don't know if adding ex oops. I don't know if that improves the situation or not. Um, I think it improves it. So I might keep it there. All right. So what do I not like? I'm not a big fan of that all that um, well this this amount of fuchsia. I think I'd like to maybe move some of that fuchsia off. Just gonna try and make sure I keep you in frame and I'm gonna go slow. Boy, do I have a lot of paint. I'm kind of excited about that because I might have the opportunity to have a lot of skins left over so I can Uh, have some pretty make some I like to make magnets fridge magnets I did start making jewelry there at one point in time I'm gonna 
and just there we go and let that settle for a second and then I'm going to bring the weight of the paint back to the center I might move this around I'm already starting to really like Again, this is a 16 by 20 canvas. I really like what's happening down at the bottom there, so I'm going to try and just hook all this on that edge there. There we go. Because I'm really liking all the man I gotta be so careful with this cord because I don't want it going anywhere near this it is too gorgeous again I'm focusing on keeping the center the center so as you can see right here is the center of the painting so I really do want to keep that Just going, moving the paint slowly. I've got these beautiful little, just want to make sure that you can see what's happening here. And that I can see what's happening here. <laughs> Okay, now, oh goodness, I hope the mic, I did have, I do have another mic, but I, I seem to like this one better, it feels like it's, feels like it, uh, just going to settle for a second, let it sit. The other mic is, um, it doesn't seem as loud so I tend to like this one here best oh my gosh the colors are pretty vibrant not quite what I had in mind for a may the fourth be with you pour galaxy pour but I really like it um, so far okay so now I want to get this I want to move the paint I'm going to just walk it back here a little bit. And I really, I need to get that center back. And I'm just taking my time. I'm not rushing. And I'm really stretching out the paint on the top. Sorry, I'm trying to not get paint all over my floor is more my priority right at the moment but um, I want to make sure you can see what's happening and like I said I'm just going nice and slow it almost kind of looks cool just as it is and you'd almost have that negative space but I'm trying to stretch out as much as I can. So. Okay, we're almost there. To move that off the edge. And then I'm going to bring back and look at the composition of this and see what we want to do. All right. So I'm going to move this around here. Just 
just want to spread out some of these lines up top. is looking good so far. I might even turn this around. This is why I love the big push pins underneath because they really help uh, in controlling a big piece of a big canvas like this. Especially when you're doing the big ones, you really need to make sure that you have um, you know, a good grip on the art. I'm going to get rid of some of that yellow because I'm not really a fan of it because my lovely green turned into yellow. So I'm going to just try and still have lots of paint on the canvas here. So I'm just going to see some of that off. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. All right. And now, as much as I love this, eek, <laughs> I'm going to move, I'm just going to move this center, move the weight of the paint back to the center. And that'll stretch out some of the stuff on the top some of these lines. Again, lots of magenta in here. I wasn't planning on it having that real magenta look to it, but it does. So let's try and force this moving. It's really, there's not a lot of paint on the surface anymore because we've, you know, a lot of it's dripped off, but I want to move that center Kind of cool actually all that blue my gosh wow what's interesting is there's not a whole lot of cells there's a few and I was really thinking that using that pure white um, satin enamels I was really thinking that that was going to give me some fluffy things. Now mind you, this is still working. Um, really do think. I just need to put it down for a second and look at it. See if I need to do anything more to it. But it it looks gorgeous in my opinion. And it's Not quite a galaxy pour, I'll be honest with you. It's not, uh, I don't have all the cells, but it's, it has an elemental look to it, that's for sure. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move, you can see it's moving down this way. And I want to stretch some of these other ones down the bottom here. I'm going to move it back. Just really stretching out that center. I see here that I might... I won't get very nice... Um, skins if I keep making a big mess like this. Okay, so carry on. Still moving that paint. 
And then in terms of the final composition, I'm almost finished. So I'm going to turn this around now. I'm going to turn it around. I just dipped my fingers in all that pool of paint. It's the best place to dip your fingers, I guess. Um, all right. Now what I want to do is I want to take this and stretch it out. See if we get anything interesting happening up here, up along this area. But I love the colors. They are gorgeous. Gorgeous and more gorgeous. I just love them. And I'm glad I have more of this paint left because I'll probably do something similar another time. I don't know, I can't really tell if it's moving. Just hold this for another moment. See if I can get some some cells. I do see little tiny cells popping up and some interesting colors. There's still lots, lots of bubbles in here, so I'm going to have to I think when you use the, um, the gloss medium, um, you don't get as many cells as if you just use the flow trowel. But I think uh, I think that's looking pretty good. Um, I don't think I want too many more. I think I want. I mean, I, I see lots of bubbles in there, but I feel like if I don't pop them, I don't know what'll happen. But I think if I can, I'm going to take my camera down and show you this wet result of this May the 4th Be With You Galaxy, not so galaxy, straight pour. Um, it doesn't have the elements of the galaxy that I wanted. I do see some of it here. Uh, just not this, um, I don't know, I guess they're called fingerlings or what have you, but there's lots of dimension to these. Like there's all the level, all the colors are kind of in there, which is really cool. Um, and there's some metallic -y type looks. So there's certainly, I mean, it's a galaxy pour. That was its intention. But um, I hope you like it. So here is the up close. So here's the center. See all those gorgeous colors together. And I 
I mean, this is a very colorful, very colorful um, pour. Let's go and down to this top left corner, just so you can see some of the colors, how they're blending. Cool. I would say my my favorite is all of this business right here. All right, I really like how these colors all mix together. Some metallic, 